en Aurea. Yes, yes, people. What's going on? Welcome back to Saeed TV, and we are live for the Straight Jacket Podcast, Podcast 227. We are here, Wembley, Wembley. We're the famous Man United, and we're going to Wembley again. And this time, there's not going to be no shouting today. Nerd is going to be happy. He's, you know what I mean? He's not going to be like, you're open league, F in your open league, because we're out of that competition. Yeah. <laughs> are you all right now? Are you, are you happy now? Are you finally happy? We're out of a competition that we should have won. <laughs> are you happy? <laughs> get, me out of that, get me out of that clown of a competition, man. I hate mm. that competition. But it was what it was, innit? Calamity FC. Here, Here we, we go. go. Here we go. Calamity FC. Listen, it is what it is. We're doing um later on. We're going to be talking about um on my, on on United Real Therapy. We're going to be talking about uh, Luke Shaw and uh, Lindelof being the mainstay and now till the end yeah. of the season. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Big up to everybody who's locked in. Please do hit the like button uh, straight away. Like I said to you, this should be the norm now. First thing you do when you come in, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And yeah, man, Wembley. I was it. You know what? It was um, it was a tiring one. I'm knackered. I'm not gonna lie to you, but worth the journey, man. Worth the journey. It was a strange game, you know, a game where there was a lot of kind of like, you know, we had to sit off Brighton. We had to kind of play on the counter attack. Respect, Respect Brighton. Respect Brighton. They're a good team, man. I I'm not gonna lie to you. I, the, what I came out was Kai Sado, mate. Kai Sado is a player that Man United should be looking at. He was unbelievable yesterday. Um, but Brighton, the way they play football. You know, this is why I want to give some credit to Brighton. The way they play football, I want to get to that level. That should be my United. You know what, that, you know what that's called? That time is called time on the training ground. No, but also time and training ground, absolutely. But also, just, I want to still see that, regardless of who you are training or not. I want to no, see that. No, no, that's the only way you're going to see it, Said. It's the only way you're going to see it. This ain't um, maths. This ain't like science. It is basic thing 
manager, a coach, gets time on the training ground with the players and drills and drills and drills till it becomes second nature. That's mm. what you see. It's auto. They play is auto. Auto, auto, auto. You need the players as well. You need the players as well. You need the players as well. hundred percent. No, hundred percent. But he's doing it with Duncan, the other guy. No, those two centre yeah, are doing it. That's yeah. all. It, yeah. And that is because it's drilled, drilled. They're competent. You have to have competent player side. You need to have a very inc- really talented players and you need to have very competent footballers to be able to do what you can do. And Brighton have always had really, co- they sign competent footballers. And then they also sign gems as well. So when you combine the gems and, with the competence and, and the drill on the training route, you get magic, mate. You get magic. Yeah. At times I was yeah. dizzy. I was dizzy, <laughs> but we, 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 we hanged in there. But I thought we, I'm not gonna lie, we opened them up as well. And yeah, yeah, of course. I was so shocked, our best players, making the wrong decisions again and again and again. Bruno yeah. making the wrong decisions again. Bruno in the last third making a wrong decision. Oh, by the way, how did we miss him, by the way? Oh, my God. When he's in the team. When the precedent, it's a precedent, the intensity. Yeah, he's he gives us in every way, every way started in the team. He, This is his team. Like, yeah. he is... Now, I know it's more of Bruno now since Martinez has been out of the team. So, noticing yeah. him, it is a massive absolutely massive uh thing but i thought we in the better positions where we were in we were rushing it we were we looked yeah, nervous no. we looked mm. i'm like Martial, yeah, man. What what doing, Martial? Martial could have ran and ran out the player could have run out the keeper Bro, run out them one of them brings you down that, that, that's a red card it could be that's a red, red card, card. yeah at the end Risk of the day oh, 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 oh sorry don't get me started do not trigger me on that referee i'm telling oh. you that. I'm telling you, it was off the referee again. There was a little to the yellow card. It was, it was almost a the Greg Dawson, what's an absolute disgrace! If I, if there was any justice, he would get the red card this morning. The, the, <laughs> the, whoever's in charge of the referee, be like you, you know, you're you're getting demoted to League Two, mate. League Two, <laughs> you're getting demoted, mate. No, seriously, something's got to be done. Like. So I'm not gonna lie to you. The referee, the this side. I'm not gonna. Lie. I thought I was going crazy. I was thinking, you know, I might need to go to the. I might need to go and lie down somewhere and leave the leave. Forget the game and go and get straight jacket me because I think I'm losing the plot. I'm serious. I'm having a mental breakdown. I'm not gonna lie to you. I genuinely thought I was having a mental breakdown because I'm seeing them commit same or even worse fouls and getting away with it. Yeah, yeah. And then you, man. Casemiro's first tackle, yellow card. Yeah. <laughs> and and Matoma should have got a set, send it off, to be fair. If I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I said it. That is the biggest... You're not going to see an easier second yellow card in this season, in, in, in even next season. You're not mm. going to see a second... He collapsed into David De Gea. Yeah. And you know who... Again, it's different when it's a keeper, isn't it? This is on commentary. Danny fucking Scouse fucking Murphy. Yeah, yeah. Danny Scouse Murphy and him and that other that other plonker on the BBC commentary did not. If that's a United player, he should be off here. He should be off here. Why are the AI not checking it? Mm. And then the Rashford when he's through, the guy, yeah. brings, the filming guy, brings him down. Well, 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 so there's no replays. It's one little replay of a weird angle, and there's no close-ups. That's yeah. a United player. Yeah, close-up after close-up. Don't yeah. even get me started. Anyway, I put it. That's why I've lost my voice because. <laughs> and the BBC are bad at replays, though. Like I said, you know, I don't know if you remember the World Cup. They were bad at replays, anyway. So, but listen, we got the job done, man. We got the job done. We're into the final of the FA Cup against Man City. Man City, man. Listen, this is going to be crazy. By the way, like I don't know if you you've never seen anything like this in your final in your lifetime. We've never played Man City in a final, have we? In my lifetime, definitely not. This is going to be final. unique. We played them in the League Cup semi-final and they beat us at Old Trafford, didn't it? With, with our yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, we played them in the Wembley as well. Uh, back oh, well, Wembley, I think, semi-final, yeah, uh, Yaya Torre. Yeah. Yaya Torre, yeah. Unbelievable goal, by the way. But you know what, man? Listen, Man City, it's, it's all on the line, man. It's all on the line on the final. It's going to be carnage, by the way. I don't know how they're going to... The, 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 I, I, reckon, I reckon there's going to be a train strike easily. I don't think the trains will be on that, that weekend. 
I reckon there'll be train strikes. And then you got people down the M1 going down the M1. You know what I mean? Man City versus Man United fans going down the M1. So it's going to be carnage. But if they do end up... It's going to be the Manchester takeover of London. That's what it's going to be most likely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. But it's going to be very interesting because you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. In a one-off game at Wembley, I think we can beat them. Personally. We can beat them. I know we I, can. Listen, I know the whole world. The whole world. They are. They are. The whole world is favouring them. I know that for hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, I'm, like I'm heavily underdogs. So we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, talk is cheap in it. We'll see you there. We'll see. To me, the only yeah. thing is that I don't want any more injuries. I just hope and pray I don't want any more injuries because so we don't get embarrassed. Yeah, We'll be down to the bare bones. We can, we, we can get a slapping. We either win, Saeed, or we can get a slapping. It's exactly the same yeah. thing I was thinking yesterday. Yesterday, I was thinking, if our aggression intensity and physicality is not up, uh, and the, the the jewels that we have to win our jewels, if those three, four things are not up, we could get a slap in here. We could oh. get a serious spank in here. But we didn't. So at the end of the day, I just don't want any more injuries, man, because... Even I've looked at Rashford, I looked at Martial, obviously, what, what Maguire did to him, how he threw Sabitza on him, mm. landed on him. So they, mm. you can tell they weren't fully fit. You can mm. tell they weren't fully fit. They, they didn't fancy the right. Rashford looked weird. And and now Bruno's injured, and I'm just like, I'm just... Yeah, I've seen the Bruno, I've seen the Bruno one. He, you know, he was limping, you know, I've seen it. Yeah, from... I, and that was a huge error. Oh my God, I was losing my shit. When... Mm. When I saw, I'm like, if you, why are you taking Anthony off? He's the only effing outlet. He's yeah. the only effing outlet. And he's the guy that's getting back defending. Why are yeah. you taking him off? And then, you let, if you go play football, you like, you never put an injured player on the wing. Never. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. why? Sure then, has to run up and that's down. why you have to run up and down all day. You keep injured players who can play, who can manage in central positions. That's where mm. you do. You keep them in central mm. position. Eric Ten Hag, oh my God, Bruno's limping. And you see the amount of times because we took Juan Bissaka by that time. No, that's before we took Juan Bissaka off. But down that mm. side, Juan Bissaka was left two against what? And I'm two like, what are you game. doing? What yeah. is he doing? He got away with that in that time because they would have scored side. I don't see how we were scoring, by the way. Mm. If they would have scored, I don't see how we were going to get back in the game. No way. We were not getting back mm. in that game. Yeah. So he got lucky. He got lucky. But I just, for me, the one that hurt me the most was Bruno. Is behind Bruno plays a pass to Anthony, and Bruno's behind him. And I'm like, you both effing speak Portuguese. All Bruno had to say is Anthony slip me in, and all it, Bruno's one on one. Then instead mm. he goes central and takes the shot, and Bruno's free there. And you know that way because Bruno's behind him, he would have been way onside. Mm. And that, to me, was the was the one of the keyest moments in the game. Not that the way he shot from the weird angle where Martial is at the back post. It was that one I thought, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Outlet. He was the outlet. He was mm. helping Juan Basaka back because when, when when what what's the guy called the the the, the, the other Ecuadorian player? The, the, yeah, yeah. Estupienda. 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 It was Rashford that wasn't helping out. To be fair, Rashford wasn't helping out. Delo. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. Oh my god, he should. I was screaming. I was like, Rashford, get mm. get off the effing. He's pit. been poor as well lately. He's not been having great games. Again, I don't know if he's carrying something or he's, he's actually. Himself, it's, it's, it's carrying. You can tell. You can tell. It's carrying, mm. man. He's got this, the this here. This here. Big up to Kadane uh, Dixon. Uh, he says here. Did you see Bamford's tackle on Paulinho over the weekend? Same as Casemiro tackle that he got red card. Except Bamford got no card. Where well, are you going? It and this is the thing now. It's, uh, Casemiro's a new the new Shaka, isn't it? He's gonna get the one that's gonna get most of the scrutiny now because of his reputation. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. But we just have to deal with it, innit? I think Casemiro did well though. To be fair, after his um, yellow card, he actually made some good tackles and he actually what do you call it? Um, did well for him. So listen, let's see, man. Let's see. But big up to everybody who's locked in. Make sure you guys like the video. Uh, there's over two hundred and um, two hundred in here. Please smash a like on the video. We have to talk about Harry Kane, Nordin. But the journalists have put it out there today. Harry Kane, uh, Man United apparently, <laughs> this is a new word by the way, Man United have started due diligence. <laughs> That's just basically a, a, a kind of interim talks. You know how they say interim talks are making a summer bid for Harry Kane and uh, growing expectation that he will not sign a new Tottenham deal, Tottenham contract in the summer. This is coming from Matt Law, who is um, from the Daily Telegraph. 
Um, Harry Kane, man, it's that story again, isn't it? Harry Kane, the manager apparently wants him. Um, oh. They're really going to make a, a establish the best way to make an early move. Listen, there is no early move with Tottenham, mate, but Daniel Levy, there's no early move. It's when the deadline happens. <laughs> he will negotiate and will try and stop and make it as difficult as possible until the last day. Remember Berbatov, Lorden? The last day when he was on that, on that, um, you know, the, the, the old Trafford, uh, what do you call it? Um, inside, in, inside the hospitality. Inside the stadium, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Listen, at the end of the day, listen. So, I, you know what? It's like clockwork. You can predict this shit, innit? You can predict this, right? Yeah. Um, they get hammered. Man United way, uh, are through to our final. On mm. Thursday, we play each other. So why not? The Harry Kane story was always going to <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm not lying to you. You can predict this. You could it's, it's, it's like a we're in a TV series, man. The plot, the plot lines, you can predict this, man. This ain't no spoiler alerts, man. This is just a mm. plot alert. So they get smashed by Newcastle. We go through to a, a, a second final at Wembley. Yeah. Even then we're playing them on Thursday. So, of course, there had to be a hurricane story. And now we can add all the words, apparently, in talks, in conversation. There's a new one for you, Sai. Due diligence. Due diligence. <laughs> <laughs> That's Remember it. that time you made 11 names, all the different names? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Representatives, third party, third party. <laughs> we made interest known to third party, representing the player. All those things we can now add Due diligence. Listen, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I think it's going to be tough, you know. Shall I tell you why? I'm not, not going to lie to you. I, I looked at that yesterday, and I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, Ericsson, Casemiro played like they were 35, mate. They, they, they play like they were 35. Um, yeah. They are, we, they, we got outrun and out bullied. We got bullied and outrun in that midfield. And you will never think that midfield will get bullied and outrun. Now, I understand that. For the last part of the game, they dominated that midfield. But there was time where we pressed when Fred came on. We pressed yeah. a bit up higher the pitch, Bruno. And I, and what I liked about Ericsson yesterday, Ericsson pressed a bit more. But bringing Harry, 30-year-old Harry Kane, who now, when I look at him, he's playing the playmaker. He's yeah. dropped so deep. It's unbelievable how deep he is, right? Mm. So I don't know. Like, for me, I just, I don't know, man. I, I see, like, that Evan Ferguson kid. I see, uh, if you, if okay, so I would say, yeah, I'll take Harry Kane if you buy Evan Ferguson as well. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense, you see. Well, if if you, you get a young, yeah, that's the yeah. only way I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna take it like that. You gotta just have one, like, like, just get him. No, I want. But, but, two but you know what it is though. Well, I think for me though, what you gotta look at though, there's gonna be a, there's, there's a short demand of strikers. Like this is why Man United are supposedly making this kind of move right now. But Kalis look at has the, uh, got the comments by the way. So check yeah. that out. Harry Kane would rather stay in England, continue to chase Alan Shearer's record rather than move overseas. Yeah, Bayern, by the way, Bayern will try because they need a striker right now at the minute. It's, it's either him or Osman or Colin Moani. There's not a lot of strikers at the minute. You know, I, listen, Daniel Levy will offer him a great deal. He will offer him the highest paid striker in the Premier League. He will offer him every single thing that he can offer him to keep him. And would, it, would you put him against the Hurricane to stay? So, Man United wasting all their summer. You've seen this before, Nredin. You waste all your summer on Hurricane and you don't end up getting him. You don't end up yeah. getting him. Or, or Pochettino goes to Chelsea and, and he goes and follows his uh, former manager at Chelsea. And listen, nah, it, it can it. happen. It, nah, you know nah, what I mean? Nah, it's not, it's, it's not as if he's got any loyalties. It's, 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 would he say no to that? I don't know. 100%. Listen, Harry Kane's never joining Chelsea or any of the London teams. He's not joining Chelsea. He's not joining West Ham. He's not joining Arsenal. He's not joining any of those teams. Let's get it right. He, the only two to three clubs that he would join, well, actually, now he can't even join them because. He can't join Liverpool because yeah. they've got they're stacked up there. He can't join Man City because they've got Alvarez and and, and, and Haaland. Unless he goes and replaces um what's his name? Uh the Turkish brother and Gundogan and he plays in midfield. <laughs> that's yeah. a second striker. <laughs> that then then that's the only way I can see him. So the only team that is looking for a striker that where Hurricane can go is Manchester United. If he wants to stay like 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 Kelly said there, he wants to break records or whatever. So it is what it is. Mm, yeah, listen, man. I, the manager clearly wants a striker, and he said it. He needs a striker to finish the chances. We look at yesterday. Look at the amount of chances we had yesterday, man. The amount of, you know, I mean, Harry Kane would bury them. You know, I mean, it just again, it just like, no, do you want to? Do you want a striker that comes in? Do you think a striker like Harry Kane comes in at thirty 
can have longevity for the next three or four years. You think it's because I, I think it can be possible. You know what I mean? It can be, but it just depends on what you kind of want. You know what I mean? I don't know what my United are we looking for a long term project? Is it just I, win now? You know. So, so listen, the biggest thing for me is that I need three midfielders. Man United need to control games. I think the goals will come. I think the goals will come because we'll create chance after chance after chance. Yeah. So I would rather dominate those games that you like in yeah. that way. Big up mm. HK Music, man. Big up HK Music says, I don't want Kane 80 uh, to 100 million for a guy that will be finishing two seasons. Doesn't make sense. Get a Ramos or Colo Moani. You know what, though? We, 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 I know it's not similar, but remember Vabi Van Persie? We only got one season out of him, remember? Like, really, we, we kind of like after, after one season, and by so the way, we wanted our title know. back, but we wanted our title back, so and he justified that. He justified yeah, he did, that he to did. get that title well, back, but is that the same was, team was, as was there any longevity in him? No, there's no longevity. But that was Fergie, though. That was Fergie. It was a, it wasn't the greatest of leagues. I, I know Man City was starting up. Liverpool were kind of like rubbish at that time. You know, what I mean, it's a different league now. It's not the same league as as, as then. You know what I mean? But Listen, I don't know, man. I, I think you know, the biggest thing. Another biggest thing when I watch Harry Kane, I look at his positioning. And years, as the years has gone on, it's dropped deeper and deeper and deeper. Side. It's just weird. Mm. And I don't see that. I'm like, I don't need that. I don't need that, man. And I need mm. guys who are going to be killers in the box. Mm. You know, like Cavani, you know, that killers in the box. Killers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Victor Osman is a killer. But again, you've got to deal with that Napoli, Napoli owner, the Napoli owner I as well. I really do think he, he, will go to, uh, he will go to Chelsea, by the way. Who? Osman. Also, man, PSG or Paris Saint Germain or Chelsea, I think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. HK Music, big up two says we do need three midfielders. We should start with Caicedo. He was the yeah. best player on the pitch yesterday. He was but unbelievable. Man, he came out and said, I remember him saying I was he wants to play for Man United. And now he's <laughs> said his dreams to play for Real Madrid. So <laughs> we need those players. <laughs> his dream is everywhere, man. He's 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 having a he's having a dream, man. He's he's you know, he's uh, he's loving the dream, he's loving life. You know what I'm saying? So I think he wants to go everywhere, to be honest with you, man. Um but I think ultimately, ultimately, like I said to you, man, the the, the 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 plan is for Manchester United to go and get proper number nine and get it done early. But with these Glazers, you don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? You don't know what's going on. Big up to Zim Gunner. It's been a while, mate. Hi, Said and Nuridin. You guys are great on YouTube. I'm really disappointed at Arsenal and I'm back at Arteta all the way, but I'm very, very much deflated. Lift yourself up, bro. Lift, Lift yourself up, up man. You win you on Wednesday. Go, you got to go and help us out, man, on Wednesday. Listen, you win. Listen, you guys win on Wednesday. If I would have if I would have said to you, one game, one game for you to to have the confidence and swing the league title in your favour, you would have bit my hand off beginning of the season, yep. bro. I, if I said to you before the season started, there's one game on a Wednesday in April. If Arsenal win that game, Arsenal are in top uh, are in top seat for the title. You won't be saying no, bro. You will not be saying no. So at the end of the day, I think you've got to go there and win. You've got to go there and win, Facts. mate. Facts. You've got to go there and win, man. It's as simple as that. So, you know what I mean? I think for me, like I said to you, I think um, ultimately it just comes down to his ambition as well, Harry Kane. Like, what does he want to do? You know what I mean? Because every time he's done this before, you know, and he said, oh, I don't want to leave. I want to leave. And then next thing you know, he wants to be here because Daniel Levy said we're going to make a statue for him. He's going to be a club legend. He still can be a legend without, you know, without without winning trophies and whatnot. So, end of the day, you know, this guy is is a guy who lacks ambition. Do 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 do, do people want that at your club? Do you want a guy whose his mentality is like that? I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Like the history of the Tottenham, Norridin. You want a guy with that mentality at a football club? I mean, he scores goals, but he's you know he's been part of a mentality of of losing really all his career. At the big stages, he's not been there, you know, for Tottenham. At, at, at semi-finals, at finals, he's not been there. He's not been there to kind of take this... I even look at Old Trafford. I'm not on him, but I'm saying... I, I look at Old Trafford, and in, in the last five, six years, I think he only scored once at Old Trafford, if I'm not mistaken. That was when they beat us 3-0 under Jose, if I'm not mistaken. Under Jose Mourinho, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. He scored a couple when they beat us 6-2, didn't they, when Jose... Yeah. He didn't score yeah. a couple that day. So, by the way... Ryan Mason is now the new head coach of uh, Tottenham, so we'll be playing. The, we'll be playing him on uh, Thursday. So maybe new manager bounce on Thursday. <laughs> they're in, they're they're in free form, man. Them, oh my days! No, no, no. The whole tight Spurs fans, innit? You were thinking they were bad when we were holding it last season. You, they, they are where we were last season, mate. They yeah. they are where we were last season. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's what it is. I just look at it. I just think. 
there are some, there's a lot in the United fan base that are like basically like, it's no brainer, Harry Kane, no brainer. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Brainer. But I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. There is, there is brainer. <laughs> <laughs> there is a brainer. There I'm is like, a brainer. <laughs> there, are, there are so many different, um, what can you say? So many different, um, different questions, question marks. For me, it's the positioning. Second is the lack of pace. On um, mm. football side, you need pace, man. I'm not going to lie to you. We've seen it with workhorse now. In pace kills. Now, I'm not saying that Harry yeah, yeah. Kane is slow, but at the end of the day, I think you need to get another young striker. If you're going to get Harry Kane, yes, mm. we're, we're going to need somebody else as well. We can, it's not just going to be Harry Kane. Mm. And I don't think Man United have that money. We do, we, do, we do need a few strikers, and this is the thing, though. It just depends on what the new ownership situation is. But we do need a couple of strikers. You know, you've got Osserman, you've got, um, you know, Kolo Moani. It's going to be a premium. It's going to be a premium. You've got this Hodgelin kid that everybody keeps talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've only watched he's him he's definitely players. a United fan. He's a definitely United fan. He's yeah. a good player. I like yeah. him, you know. I, I, I like the way he is, the left footed, the the, the 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 strength, the pace, the power. I like I like that type of robustness. There's a certain robustness. I've not watched him. I'm not gonna claim to watch him a lot. I, I, I wanna see how, how good he is holding the ball, how good he is linking the play. Because one thing about it is the hurricane is good at linking the play, side. He's very good at linking the play. He's very good at like holding the ball when you get it to him. So at the end of the day, I'm buying fouls and stuff like that. So I don't know. But if we get, if, let's say, okay, if we get both of them, then maybe, you know, that, that, that Holland kid and, and, and Kane. For me, Kane alone, I'm not having it. I'm not having just Kane alone at United. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've got HKN says, I always say United fans are obsessed with GA. They don't like other areas of players' game. Yeah, that's another that's another thing as well. Um with 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 with, with certain certain players that we're going to get. Like, you know, there's there's some players that are not prolific, some players that are not, you know, would I say, especially the midfield areas, they don't get many assists and whatnot, but you can see the way they play. Look at the way Kevin McAllister, look at that, look at that player. He's unbelievable. Alex, sorry, Alexis McAllister, wonderful player as well. He's another player that I looked at you say I thought top, top player. So I think that Kai said for me yesterday when I looked at him and I was like, damn man. He's a top, top player, man. Honestly, he, he would be amazing at midfield. At times, you know what? He gives you that Kante vibes, isn't it? Where he's like, you think there's two of him in the pitch. I think technically he's better than though, in Kante. I'll be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. better than Kante. Obviously, overall, he's not probably... He won't ever reach... Pro- I don't know. It depends on his ceiling, but Kante was a different sort of player. But this guy... Yeah, no, 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 I'm talking about in terms of how much he covers ground. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, with Kante, I used to think there was two of them sometimes. You see, he said two of them on the pitch because he's everywhere. And and he yeah. gives you that kind of vibe. I'm not comparing the both players. I'm just saying mm-hmm. he gives you that type of vibe, like the total dom- yeah. dominance. What do you like, think, mate? Like, what do you think? You know what's crazy here? You know, you know, you, listen, you, listen if, they were, if Man United were clever right now, you know who I'd be getting? I'd be getting Antonio Valencia right now. Calling Antonio Valencia back to the club, say, Antonio. Yeah. This kid needs to over and do it, help us out because everyone else gets help. Because that was his hero. Listen, that's his hero. Antonio Valencia is his hero. And there's a rise in these Ecuadorians, man. There's a lot of talent in Ecuador now. Look at yeah. Stabianda. Look at these um, players that they've got in there. You know, there's a lot of talent now in South America. Like if, if I'm if I'm my United now, I'm doing a lot of scouting in South America, me right now. Because my United, a minute, you know, we got we got we got Anthony. We've got Lissandra Martinez, but I'm I'm letting them know, yo, what's the next big talents in South America? Finding out what's going on. Because look at Brighton. Look at their recruitment team. Like, we don't have to spend ridiculous money on players. Just go and get scouting done in these South American... But so you're not talking, kind of you're talking about a club that's got, that, that, that's ignored the majority of the scouting and sat people. Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on, bro. Come on, listen. Uh, 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 out of smaller budget, Brighton, Leicester have shown Manchester United up in the last decade and a half. Yeah, it's, it's disturbing what they've done, and yeah. and the bigger thing, but people are like, no, I understand. You know, the Manchester United shirt as a player when you come, especially a young player, it, 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 it's heavy. You know yeah. what I mean? You wear, you wear it, and it's heavy, and it becomes heavy, heavy. Yeah, yeah, of course. And also, what remember? Chelsea having 20 players on loan. Why can't we have those players on loan? Yep. Why can't we sign all these talents and have them on loan side? What, why? Yeah. Just have to take them on loan. But again, you know what I mean? It's, it's one of them situations where, you know, the, the scouting, 
you know, I don't know. Obviously, the Glazers need to go. That's that's the bottom line, isn't it? Like once these Glazers go, that'll be the first thing that I tell that would want from the from the from the new owners is that they have a proper scouting department, a proper scouting team that know what they're doing. You know, so let's see, man. Let's see. But big up to everybody who's here. There's over three hundred in here. Please do like the video. Like I said to you, the algorithm today. You know, what I mean, we need the algorithm to get up, man. So please, bottom right hand corner, hit the like button. And I appreciate everybody who's on the stream. Uh, HKN, big up to you, says, get Cole Mwani, Ram, Ram, Ramos Hodgelin, Caicedo, Diego Costa, Mono Kwani, Kim Mijay. This would be my perfect window. That, so that that's would be incredible. That, that would be incredible. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That would be incredible. That would be incredible. They're, 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 they're usually below. Hodgelin, uh, I think you could get about 60 million. Cole Mwani is a, a bit of a tricky one because apparently Frankfurt won 100 million for him, which is crazy. But you don't know yet. Diego Costa, his release cost is 75 No, no, million. I'm not paying 100 for him. No chance. Um, I, I think he can replace him with Evan Ferguson. Yeah. Well, there you go. Evan Ferguson, Hodgeland. Um, you got Mono Kwani, I think 30, 40 million. Kim Min Jay's release cost is 40 million. So, again, it's about having a plan, though, isn't it, Norden? And that's the thing, though. Can we get signings done early? But I want to ask you a question here. This is a question for everyone. What do you think a type of striker that the manager wants? Does he, does he just want a prolific goal scorer or is he going to look for that Martial kind of, you know, prototype, you know? Because he said that Martial's going to stay here next season. So if you want, if you're looking for a Martial prototype, then you get Harry Kane then. That makes sense then, don't it? Um, you're going to need somebody who can play with their back to goal, Saeed. The way we build up, the way we build up, we need somebody yeah. who can play with their back to goal, who can hold up the ball. We need somebody who can link the play. And somebody who's also deadly in the box. You can't get those... Back in the day when I was young, that's what strikers did. Now, it's like different type of strikers. Like hybrids are different. They can only do one yeah. thing. No, you've got to be able to run in behind. For me, pace is important. Pace kills. Pace kills any level yeah. of football. If you've got pace, you've got a chance. So for me, that's why I'm not just having Harry Kane by himself. I'm not. I'm not mm. having Harry Kane by himself. I need somebody who's quick as well. You're going to need people. It's going to be horses for courses. Like, there's certain games you're going to have to play certain players. I watched him on the weekend. I haven't told him. He was I'm quality. Not he was, did you watch him, by the way? No, nah, but um, I'm not. Uh, you know why? He, my guy, was it last year, the year before on the podcast, come out with his undying love for Liverpool and how it was his dream to play for Liverpool. So why would I want him on my did, did he actually say that? Yeah. But then, but then footballers, man. Listen, nah, nah, footballers nah, nah. say I, a lot. I, no, I, footballers I, say I, a lot, though. This is I. If he said that about Chelsea or Arsenal, well, Chelsea or, you know, Everton and stuff like that, I won't mind that. The thing with Liverpool and Manchester United, we don't do that, man. We're not begging here. We're no, not I get begging. that. I get that. hundred percent. But also, though, imagine he comes in and says, yo, listen, man, you know, burn Liverpool and we're, we're here to take him over. He scores three in a, in a, in a derby against Liverpool. You know what I mean? Then you'd be like, yeah, fair play. You'd be, the you'd last be, guy to do that. The last guy to do that. Dimata Bebatov, you mentioned his name before. Bebatov, yeah. That Bebatov. day I was at Old Trafford in the Stratford. Oh, oh, what a memory. Well, is that, is that, is that, I reckon that's the most... Um, I think we hit them for four or five. Did we hit them for five that day? I think it was no, five, two. Three. No, no. Which, Liverpool. Was it three? It was three, no, two. No, no, Jared, no, no. Jared, the hat trick. The overhead kick one, yeah? Yeah, they were three two. It was three two. Three, two. He scored the winner. They scored a couple. I think Steven Gerrard scored a free kick, I think. Um, you know, yes, yeah, so that, that old yeah, red, red kick was the most oh, was the most a slow motion old red kick. You ever yeah, three two. Yeah, it was one of the most a slow motion old red kicks I've ever seen in my life. That kick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The ball that, comes from the corner. I think he takes a flick on or something like that. He takes a deflection. And there yeah. top, he's just like you know everything is like you know how it was. Everything was like that's kind of motion in it. It was like so finesse the way he was. And I just remember the ball. I think it hit the bar. And I just remember, um, what's the name, Rayner, looking at it like that. And just scenes, mayhem. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't even know how I got home. I walked to rush home. <laughs> I walked <laughs> to rush home. And I don't know how I come back because I was just singing and dancing my all the way. Yeah, yeah. 100%. A uh, Spurs fight to Lily. Yeah, we just found out now, man. That's a shambles of a club, man. But again, we've got a shambles of a club. And we need to know that if this deadline is this week, Norden. The deadline. The deadline, Norden. <laughs> the 28th is the deadline, Norden. The 20 on Friday. The Friday is when we should find out that the it's basically your know, deadline, basically. Deadline day. 
It's yeah. deadline day. I might even do it like a, a stream call, a deadline day. Uh, what do you call it? The, the, the news deadline day. That's what it is. Because that's what they, they paid it out to me, Norden. A deadline day, 28th. Um, do you think we'll hear anything, or do you reckon it's just kind of like a facade, basically? You know, do, you, do you actually think we'll hear anything? Do you reckon it'll be, we'll hear maybe new, new, new potential owners putting in their bids in? You know, so what do you think, yeah. bro? What do you think? So, so we're going to discuss it a bit in detail. We're going to discuss the, pro the protest, actually, at yeah. uh, 605, United Real Therapy people, and also like Luke Shaw and Lindelof. But I'm going to say to you now, it don't matter, Saeed. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be one of the biggest protests against the Glazers. Starting off at Deansgate, walking all the way up to Old Trafford. Yeah. It's going to be a mad one to build the chanting, to build the, the energy up. And some of them reckon they want to stay outside for 18 minutes. I don't know how many people are going to stay outside at 18 minutes. You know, by the way, I, 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 I want to... We'll so for me, I, 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 that's I, I, what we're in control of. Big up to Must. Big up to Must, by the way. Yeah. Whole type mess. Yeah. They came out and said it'll be untenable. In no uncertain terms, it'll be untenable. And yeah, they yeah, have to do Like, like, so most have come out. 58 are saying everybody is this. The only thing we can do, guys, is do what is in our control. At the end of the day, I think this deadline is a made up one. This is like Sky Cave and all of these type of like guys, Mike Keegan and all of these type of journalists who are just like, oh, this is a nut. At the end of the day, it, it, we don't know. Like, we're not going to know. So, and I always said, I have to believe it. When I see it, you you text me and go, no, it's happened. You know what I mean? You get old enough with the no notifications, right? That's what I'll go berserk, right? But yeah. this idea, like, I have no power. What would power do is to show a message. I'm big up to the United fans yesterday as well with the anti-glazer anti chance. I could hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're there, yeah, yeah. Of course, goal, man. Behind the goal, behind that, the United end, the banner was there loud and clear. Glazers out, mate. Yeah. Massive banner there. Glazers out. So it is what it is. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Big up to HK Music, man. I appreciate the generous donation, my bro. He goes here. Another big game where Bruno went missing, but nobody talks about it because he was giving pep talks to the penalty takers. Lol. See, I'm going to disagree with you this one. Could have, uh, could have been the easiest assist, but put in through Martial instead of trying to be the hero. Was he was he efficient? Was he a bit, I would say, wasteful in the opportunities? Yes. But I don't think he went missing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think he was integral to our press. Massive. I think he was he was very, very integral to the pressing we were doing. Um listen, so sorry. the centre backs. Back, I massively disagree with you there. I don't think he was I don't think go he was back. wet missing. Listen, 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 go back, listen, go back on his super generous chat. Go back on it. Big up, go yeah, big up, by the way. Brother, listen, I understand. Me and you have, have come to a We've come Agreed. to a realisation. We accept that. That you like techie number 10s. By the way, next time you're in England, make sure you, you find us, man. Make sure yeah, yeah, make sure as well, man. Make we'll sure when you're in Manchester, when you come to England, man, we, we'll go to the game, in it. You know what I mean? So make sure, first of all. Second of all, I know he ain't your favourite. But, bro, sometimes, you know, when you're, when you're parroting your agenda, when you've got your agenda, this was not the game. You should have kept this. In the clock, you know, I mean, keep the bullet in the clock, bro. <laughs> keep it in the clock. Don't fire it off. This was not the game to fire it off, bro. Trust me. Yes, he's decision making. On he was not, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that part, Nordia. Yeah, I agree. 100%. You can be so super frustrated. And what you described there, especially that bit to the back post of like, that's the pass that you accept from Bruno. That is yeah. the type of pass that you accept from for Bruno, other than that. But I'm telling you, when Man United were were good when we, in the second half they came out for the first 10 minutes in it they bullied us but yeah. after about 60th minutes when, when, when Fred came on I thought we went right on the front foot we they couldn't play out do you remember that those parts of the yeah. game where they couldn't play out we were so dominant chance after chance after chance so at the end of the day that came a lot from Bruno and his leadership so brother I understand but this one was the wrong one to fire the to come for him. It was the wrong game to come for him. Yes, 100%. He was guilty as anybody in decision-making in the last third. Guilty as anybody, 100%. But as far as that, the difference I saw in the team that played against uh, Sevilla and this team was huge. And last part of it is to his drive, his determination. The guy's got lungs, mate, lungs. But I understand he's not your... 
he's not your he's not the guy that you like as a number 10 for Man United. I understand that. Yeah. Uh, big up, he says, so Bruno, good things are without the ball. I'm trying to come for the final. But this is where I agree with you. I think for me, I'm not going to lie to you. If you want a number 10 next season, I think we've got to go get Madison. I think generally, I think for me, next season, we should look to have I competition think, I think there are better players than Madison, you know. I'm not going to lie to you. I think there are nah, better players. I, I disagree, man. Madison's a quality, quality I player. Do listen, I, no, no, you love Madison. so you. But don't say you don't disagree. I think they're better, better players than Madison. Okay, you name me a better player than Madison in that ten role in the Premier League. No, no, I'm not talking about some people who are in the Premier League because there are hardly any number tens in the Premier League. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Let's say, let's say, okay. Give me your, give me your preferred number ten. Give me your preferred number ten. There's that kid who plays for Valencia. I don't know if he's Japanese or Korean. Let's oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's quite good. He's. Oh. he's a big good. He's, Tech it, yeah, tech yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that ticket side and you know it. Of course, it's a it's a mad one. It's a mad one. Um and of course it's a mad one because they're having a, they could get relegated Valencia. It's that mad of a thing what's happening. Could us I think Kudas is better than Madison, hundred percent. I think yeah. that kid is better than Madison. I just I know they're nah, not better than No, no, nah, nah, listen, it's not better than Said, it's just that the preference is what I prefer. McAllister, you like McAllister? Do you like McAllister? Yeah, I like McAllister, but I think he's not a number 10. I think he's more of a number 8, but I like him. He's yeah, I think he's a bit of a hybrid, yeah, hybrid, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he, he, he is, I think with good coaching, you could even get better. But um, but I understand why you like Madison. I understand that, because sometimes I get sucked in because he makes difficult things so easy. He yeah. makes things really look easy. And the other thing that what's worrying me up now, is started to develop in the last couple of seasons, he started to develop Saeed. He started yeah. to develop a uh, injuries and injuries and injuries and like I just don't want any more injury prone players. Mm. I'm Musiala not as well, yeah, Musiala, uh, Bruno better than both. Listen, I think for me, it's not about having both. You need a squad, man. Look at Man City; they bring on good ones. Why not? But, but so Man United, squad, like, man. listen, Manchester United fans have been destroyed mentally by the Glazernomics and Glazer transfer and Glazer policy that exactly. Man United cannot have. I, people think that they think Sam Giggs and Beckham are on the bench. Solskjaer's starting on the right wing. You yeah. know, I find what the hell is going on here? What's going on? What are you talking about? Nicky Bot is playing. Nick, 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 Nicky Bot is playing with Roy Keane today. No skulls. Like, yeah. are you kidding me? You would have all of these different things. Oh, and there's, sometimes there's a midfield against Arsenal, the bigger games. Oh, we got Roy Keane injured. Okay, Paul O'Shea, uh, John O'Shea, and, and Phil Neville are playing with, uh, with, with Fletcher. You're like, what? What are we going to get destroyed? Saeed, yeah. I'm not saying... You need quality. I, Saeed, I, listen, here's what I want. My perfect dream for Manchester United is, is, is to build a squad where I'm not missing one individual. Where everybody, you're not even noticing who's on the bench. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying to you? Because yeah, the yeah, quality yeah. is exactly the same quality when they got on that pitch. That's what I mean. That's, That's what, what I want, though. That, and, this is, and this is the thing, though. This is what, you know, a lot of people have PTSD about. It's like, oh, you, that, you know, this is what I don't get. It's like, people assume that I hate Bruno, by the way. I don't hate Bruno. I actually back Bruno most times when it's getting slandered. I say, hold on a minute. I get you, you. You don't like the player. You don't, you know, you don't think he's a good player. But I also think there's qualities in Bruno that I do like. But I want a squad. I want a different type of number 10. I want someone that can give something different. Because I think maybe Bruno in tight spaces is not the most... Um, for me, on the eyes, not not the greatest, you know. What I mean, so I do want a different top of that uh, kind of number ten. It offers just something different. So it just depends on what you want, and I think ultimately we need options, man. Christian Eriksen, for me, you know, I looked at him yesterday. I looked at his limitations in the eight role. He needs to be further forward. So maybe it can be Eriksen and Bruno, maybe as a ten. Sorry, one hundred percent fact. I think we're gonna need somebody who's good, who's who's really good in tight, like like that kid. I, I've only seen highlights of that kid and I watched him one game. I think he's Japanese or Korean. I don't know what his name is. Plays for Valencia. He's got amazing techers. Amazing ability and techers to yeah. get away from players. Um, you know what I mean? To get away from players and to get away. Um, so, it's going to be crazy to see that. It's going to be crazy to see um, what type of player that Man United do get and what type of man, what kind of players that Man United should inspire to have in our squad. But yeah. I genuinely do want somebody, because I think Bruno, 
as the, as he gets a bit gets on, I think he's can play that that Eric that Eric. He's shown us that he can play that Eric um the, uh, the Ericsson role. Do you understand Ericsson, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He can role. play that yeah. under it. So mm. that's 100%. what I want. That's what I want. I want. I want a techie, but Madison. Mm, no, I, 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 but I. You will get him on a cheaper as well because Leicester might get relegated as well. Leicester could get relegated this summer, this this season. So you never know what could happen in in terms of that yeah. situation. So no, you know what I'm mean? saying. Listen, I can see hundred percent why you like Madison. I can see that because I feel the similar the similar way. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I feel yeah. the exact the similar way at times about him. But recently, I'm just thought, mm, nah, not for me. Mm. Uh, so that's the reason why I'm just like, yeah. mm -mm, there's something about yeah. him as well that I'm like, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because yeah, honestly, I, yeah. I wanted him, you know, I wanted him that season where, because he, 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 you know, Beckham, he's, he, I think he's he's from Norwich, isn't it? His team's Norwich, but his big team are Man United because he's got, he's obsessed with David Buckham and Ronaldo and all these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Guys, make sure you like in the video, people. There's only 119 likes. There's over 300 in here. Please oh do my hit God. That's, a, that's a disgrace, by the way. That I is, know, I know, man. But hey, listen, great man. jacket army. That's a disgrace. Yeah, absolutely, man. Get um, all big, of this <laughs> big up the suit. You like in the video, you're a disgrace. Like the video, man. Wembley! 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 Wembley. Famous buddy, and I we're going to Wembley. Wembley! Wembley! Smash a like for that. Smash a like for yeah. Lindelof. Smash, yeah. smash, smash a like for Shaw. I think Shaw is a better center up than a left back, if you ask me. Mm. Controversy. New, new position, man. Opinion. New position. He can actually concentrate better. Uh, yeah. Big up Masood. He's um, he's saying here, Nordin, would you take uh, Harry Kane at United? Are you not worried about his loser mentality? Big up you too. That's a question, again, like I said to you. It, you know, people say loser mentality but I think you can actually portray a, 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 a player who's just not won anything like you have you looked at a player Nordin in your past where you kind of looked at a player and he's never he's been a good player but he's never won anything and you're like oh, I don't know if I want him at my club like back in the day like any player that you watched in the day that you always thought to yourself ah oh, I don't really he's, he's a good player but he's never won anything and I don't know if I want him at my club there's always been that kind of like you know so that the theory fact I, I think the premise of that question is a bit unfair. Not saying that I'm, I'm, I'm going to think about the player, but because football is a team sport, side. Football yeah, is it's... a team sport. So it's not like tennis or not like golf, you know what I mean, or snooker or any of those type of sports where it's purely down to the individual. Uh, but I know what you mean in terms of like bottling it at the big, big games, bottling it at the big games, where you are bottled up at the big games, up when it counts. There are players that who, not horrific, but they come in the clutch moments that he, Clutch yeah. moments in the big time where you need them. So, it's Harry Kane that player he came to the clutch moment for England. That penalty, he, that's one thing you would think. I put my house, life, everything on it. Kane yeah, 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 oh, you put the whole everything on Harry Kane scoring a penalty. You put that because that's one thing. That's why he won the golden boot because he scored so many penalties. You know, I mean, yeah. welcome, which is slightly <laughs> embarrassing for me, but it is what it is, right? So. That is, and that pressure moment, he wasn't there, side. He wasn't there. Yeah. And you know what? It wasn't for Spurs either. It was for England. To mm. me, in the Champions League final, he should never have started. Never have started. He should have come mm. on. That's yeah. one of the things that why I didn't want Pochettino because I was like, Pochettino, if you don't know this about your team, if you, if you are about this player rushing him back for him to play, no, mate. I'm sorry, we're in a final. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna start with a team that got me here to this one me here, yeah. oh, oh, you know oh. I mean? well then you can come on you can come on in some of the games um but I'm just trying to think I'm trying to think players who have not won a lot came and joined United Robin van Persie Robin van yeah. Persie yeah, he won the FA Cup he won the FA Cup was he not I don't think he was part of it he got won a league title he, he came to he came Listen, I remember that press conference, man. I'm telling you, I remember that press conference. He said, the boy inside me said Manchester United. Yeah. <laughs> like, the thing yes. is, though, at least he took his opportunity and he went. He left. Harry Kane has every single time said, I want to leave, but then I don't want to leave. I want to leave. Then I, like, bro, that, in his head, he's like, if you're not ambitious enough to say, you know what, I just want to leave. Like, just tell them, like, let people know, like, you want to leave. Like, just say it and go. Like, you know, force the move. You know, make it happen, and then after that, you can do whatever you want to do. So I don't know, but I just think for me, it's one of them where 
you know, Berbatov has all won the League Cup as well. Yeah, fair enough. Absolutely. HK Moon says, I'm going to say Luke Shaw is better at centre-back than left-back. We should get Theo Hernandez or Nuno Mendes to play left-back. Shaw, back up to back up to Martinez. Yeah. You know what? I don't rate Theo, Theo Hernandez. You know, I think he will get slaughtered. You don't rate him? Nah, you I think, he, I think he will get absolutely slaughtered in the Premier League. I think he's like another Teles guy. Tell us you watching all, Pedro right? Porro, by the way? Are you watching Pedro Porro, by the way, for Spurs? He's awful. So it's, I, I think for me, some though, of these players look amazing in other leagues. Go yeah, to yeah. the Prem, get found <laughs> out. You get found out. There ain't no place to hide that. In. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think Tio Hernandez is good in that. He looks incredible for AC Milan. He looks that good for there. But if for France, I look at it for France. Sometimes I'm like, yo. People are getting at you. You, you look like the weakest link, bro. Like, but yeah. he's not. He's not a brother, though. I, I rate him. You know, yeah. you know, he's not a brother. I don't know what he's. I always forget his name. But I rate him. I think he's yeah, a solid, yeah, yeah. solid player. No. Yeah, he's, he's, Absolutely. He's, he's older brother. He's older brother. But see, you know what? He's good. For, good with Milan. He's good with that style of football. I don't think in the Premier League. Man, I actually think Fernandez is a good left back. I think you're forgetting we've got a young, young left back who's playing at Preston at the moment. I know sometimes he plays in midfield. Um, but he's he's a good left back. I like him. Technically gifted, good. I tell you who's really good. Sir. He's having an amazing season. It's the guy. Um, it's the Villa, Villa left back, Spanish guy. Oh my gosh, the Villa Spanish. left back. Oh yeah, 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 Moreno, Moreno. He's quality. I'm watching him. You know, he's quality, man. Moreno. Moreno, Moreno, I, Moreno mate. Moreno's on smoke. Yeah, Moreno's a quality player. I think he's a, he's a very... But again, like I said to you, you've got to get the recruitment right this summer. You can't just only just get any sort of player. You know I mean? You've got to be you've got to be careful as to who you go and get because, you know, these, these players that we get from different leagues are great in them leagues. But when you come to this league, it's... it's you know what I mean? It's a different kettle of fish. Look at Newcastle. And by the way, I've been telling people about Isak, you know? That Isak there oh, is a we've known, him. We, we've known about him. Bro, Isak, man. I just think, you know what, man? He would have been an unbelievable player at United, man. Isak, mate, he's powerful, strong. He's got pace. He can actually hold up the ball. He can, Bro, Isak is a player. You know, oh. man, again, now Newcastle have got him. And now Newcastle, whether you like it or not, if they get Champions League football under him, we're competing for Newcastle, you know, in terms of players, you oh, know. Of course. Of course we are. And they got pockets deep, deep, deep. Pockets deep, deep, deep. They got deep pockets, man. They snapped up Tottenham yesterday, man. They're here, man. They're here to stay, man. They are here to stay, man. They ain't playing around, man. So if they want to go buy players this summer, they will go buy it. Liverpool are out the top four. Chelsea are out the top four, but Chelsea will spend money anyway, regardless. You know what I'm saying? So Newcastle are there. They will be going for midfielders that we want. You see, you see these players like like Kone, you know, these little players that HK Music said that Newcastle will be like, yo, we could offer you Champions League football. And in about three or four years, we'll be challenging for the league. Because it is possible Newcastle in the next three or four years can challenge for the league. You know, If Arsenal are doing it after two or three years, why can't Newcastle do it, Norden? Why can't they do it? Let's be real. Why can't they? Well, it's going to be very interesting, Saeed. It's going to be very interesting. Very, very interesting in terms of like... I just say, I just look at, I look at Man United. And I just think, like honestly, we are captured. <laughs> we have to. It's like the biggest elephant in the room. Anything that this club wants to do, anything that the players that we want to go for, how we want to compete next season. I think the transfer next season is ruined anyway. By the way, sorry, sorry, he dropped off, and I missed, the, I missed a bit of the question. He dropped off a bit. You got with yeah, you know, I about about you know competing next year, we have to be we have to be quick in it in terms of the players that are coming. Oh, I'm to saying the... to you. So how how are we supposed to know that? Because you're supposed to be talking to teams, to agents. So if you don't know the budget, everything's in the air. Yeah. And this is from March onward, Saeed. March onward, from the end of February, uh, the backroom staff, the coaching staff, the scouts, the head yeah. of recruitment, all start getting having meetings. There are lists of players. Agents, contact net, contact numbers, scouts to go and be there to go and watch them. Yeah. All of that is planned. Do you think these things happen in a vacuum? Yeah. No. That that is the important part of the preparation and signing players, especially if you want to get rid of that tag of signing players. Um, it, it's what it is. It's like it's it's surreal. It's surreal that some of the fans are not waking up to this. 
They think, oh, we're just going to get somebody and just get them. That's it. No. No. We need to. I think the board needs to go as well, though. I think Glaze is staying and the board, not, not you know, they're part no, of the problem. Yeah, well. Listen, at the end of the day, it's been very difficult unless you've already got ready-made board waiting to come bang straight away. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Unless, uh, unless you are in the negotiations, you've already put a team together. You see what Todd Bowley said. You see what happened to what happened to Chelsea. Chelsea, oh, they get rid of everybody. Yeah, everybody. yeah I hope it's not like that, you know, the Qataris. I hope it's not like that, you know. I hope it's, I hope it's not like that. <laughs> Yo, that's, you know what? But I'm like, listen, I'd rather have that than have the Glazers because the Glazers has been too Of long. course, of course. Of course. <laughs> I thought you were going to go crazy then. Well, I'm saying to you, Todd Bowley and that coming straight away and like Peter Cech, that woman, I forgot her name. Yeah, Mar- you know Mar- I mean? Mariana or something like that. Mariana, Mariana, Mariana or whatever her name was. All of that gone. Thomas Tuchel gone. You know what I mean? Everybody gone and Bowley's, Bowley's about better watch out. You know what I mean? Bowley's eating, dining everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. Man's acting like this is like a company. He doesn't understand that football is diff- is totally different, like how you run a company. Like yep. every time he speaks about Chelsea, he's talking about like he's a company. No, it's not a company, mate. Football <laughs> is different. <laughs> it's, different. It's, like, it's different in so many levels. Yeah. Like yeah. the day to day, yeah, it's like a company. Yeah. The club is an organized institution. But the way you bowl about, nah, mate, head hunting and all that, it's not the same. So at the end of the day, I would. I would be like, okay, you know, okay, this is where the truth will lie, innit? Because big up Devil in the detail, innit? Big up Danny. The people yeah. on Danny's kind of like persuasion will say, well, Murta is the way he is because of the Glazer restrictions. Yeah. There'll be no excuse on Saturday, innit? There'll be no yeah. excuse. But we already know that he's in a doghouse because going, I, you, you need to go to Turin to go and speak to, um, <laughs> We'll go and speak to uh, um, uh, what's the name? The, the Juventus player's mum. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. R- R- what's the name? What's the, I always uh, Adrian Ravio. Paratici. No, 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 no. Adrian Ravio's mum. Oh, Adrian Ravio's mum. Okay, okay. Yeah. You need to do that for her to, for her to be asking for some extraordinary wages. He's one of the highest paid players in the league. In sorry, in Serie A. So like Juventus were like, we we, we don't want any transfer fee for him. Just take him. Yep. They were willing to let him go for free. So yep. this idea, you already know, and I'm like, and then twice you went to Barcelona with with that Muppet, absolute Muppet um, banker, banker, I can't say the other word. Richard because, Arnold. You know what I mean? Richard Arnold. Twice you were pictured, and then you came back empty-handed, and that's an embarrassment, absolute yep. embarrassment. You have to, when you, with Man United being a director of football, Man United, you have to move like ninjas. Being the bottom money night, when you're getting things done, you have to be like stealth, stealth. You got to yeah. move in the night, mate. Night vision goggles and all of that. Yeah. You need to move, mate, in darkness, in secrecy. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I, do I want the Todd Bowley kind of style? And that's made me think now because I'm like, yo, the way my <laughs> my guy came in and did what he did, and that could happen, Sadi. <laughs> that could happen. Yeah. The Atari's ninety two five. If they were to come in, or even Jim Radcliffe. Who's to say? Because Jim Radcliffe, come on, they're not pulling trees. Knees are not pulling, pulling out trees. They're not. They're not. They're not. So, so it, it all depends. But I just, say, like I said to you, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm happy to be patient one more season. But obviously, yeah. in a January, that means, if it means January, Man United go all out, right? Yeah. I won't, I won't be asked too much in the summer if it means the glazes are done. Glazes are done, gone. You know what I mean? I, I'm the kind of guy that oh, I'm willing to take relegation to get rid of the glazes. That's how it, that's how extreme I am. That's how yeah. desperate I am. Yeah. So that just shows you. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, man. But now nah, big up to everybody who's locked in, man. Um, there's still over 300 in here. Make sure you guys like the video. Um, let's get at least a 200 likes. There's still over 300 in here. Big up to the community, man. Um, we're gonna go to Nordish channel now. United Real Therapy. Big up to the community. And yeah, man, Thursday as well, we've got, we've got the Tottenham as well. Hopefully, if we win that game, Nuridin, pretty much yeah. top four secured. Would you agree with that? I think if we win that game, um, it would be, to me, that's why I want to go for it. I genuinely want to go for it. I really want to go for it. I, ge- I so badly want us to go there, Saeed. The best performance we've had this season, Saeed, has been against Spurs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We played fantastic. Yeah. That's the last game that, the, that's the game that sticks out in the season, yeah? Um, like that, that sticks out more than any other game, right? I've just yeah. shared a sweet, 
match. Yeah, it's absolutely. Actually, a fair side. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I want Manchester United to go and get that, get that smashed. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Get mm. that absolutely smashed, Saeed, because I want Man United to then to give us a bit of a breathing space because we've got tough, we've got mm. four tough games, Saeed. West Ham started finding form. We've got we've got Spurs, Villa, Brighton away, then yeah, West Ham yeah. away. Like, that game, man, it's, so then you can time. afford to lose a baby at one one. You can have, I'm not saying you should lose. I'm just saying, yeah, facts, hundred percent. I'm not gonna lie. But listen, to you. people. So I'm gonna lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I genuinely feel as though this is an opportunity to knock, to to kick Spurs while they're down, bro. Like I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. To you. Like, but why are, United do are, that? That's the problem, though. United never do that. United always give chances to, to people to kind of rise back. We need to. We really need to. <laughs> We genuinely yeah. need to. We need to kick them while they're down because so many teams came to yeah. OT, did that to us last season. Away at home, yeah. people were kicking us, slapping us all over the place. We need exactly. to do that, man. When we were down. We, do that. we got so absolutely destroyed. I just hope that Bruno's fit again, man. I hope Bruno's fit because we miss him. Honestly, we miss yeah. him. He's a massive part. Unless you're HKL. <laughs> Unless you're HKL, he don't, he don't miss him. No, he's just, he <laughs> he's no, HKL's got his agenda, but he's never just cl clarity. He's, he's not, he doesn't prefer that type of number 10. He doesn't prefer Yeah, exactly. That That's why I rate. That's why I respect the, the opinion. So, yeah. big up, man. Now, big up to everybody who's locked in. Big up, uh, Z Gold. And like I said to you, join us at Reunited Real Therapy. And we'll see you next time for the Straight Jacket Podcast. All right.